Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to talk about whether or not I think the Canon R8 is a good camera for sports photography. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to start off by summarizing the video right at the start and then you can stick around to hear the why. So do I think the, the R8 can be used for sports photography? Absolutely. Any camera can be used for sports photography, but it has its limitations. And because of those limitations, and given what it costs, it is not a camera that I would recommend. I think for the price, you can get better for this specific type of photography. Now, let's dive right into the why I think that. So, the R8 is a full-frame camera. It has the exact same sensor as the R6 Mark II, for example, so no issues there at all. The focusing system of this camera is also phenomenal, so it's the same focusing system that you can find on the R3, the R7, the R6 Mark II, so human detection, uh, eye detection, it can even tell left eye from right eye, uh, animal detection, train detection, vehicle detection, etc. So one amazing uh, focusing system, which is very, very important for sports photography. As far as the shutter is concerned, this camera can take 40 frames per second with the electronic shutter and with the electronic first curtain shutter it can take six frames per second this camera does not have a mechanical shutter and we'll get to that in just a second this camera also does not allow for a battery grip i mean there is one that you can get that it's just this thick basically just to add a little bit of volume so that your pinky finger doesn't feel alone i guess because it doesn't have all the functionality and use that we would want in a grip which is number one being able to add an extra battery. Number two, being able to shoot portraits without having to do weird uh, movements. So you would just flip the camera and you would have the buttons at your disposal. It does not have that. So you can buy that little tiny, tiny, tiny grip just to, to, to rest your pinky finger and that's it. So no battery grip is quite a, 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 a big, big letdown in my opinion. Speaking of battery, this camera comes with a shorter battery than the ones you'd find for example on the R7 or the R6 Mark II so it'll take less photos so it's gonna last a lot less time than uh, the other camera so you'll if you buy this camera and you're gonna use it for sports photography you better buy a second battery or maybe a third because it's not gonna last that long this camera also only allows for one SD card so it doesn't have to for example like the R7 or the R6 Mark II and then obviously there is the video specs I'm not going to go into detail about those because to be honest I don't care uh, this channel is about sports photography it's not about video and you might think well but you're on YouTube what do you mean you don't care about video the vast majority of people that watch my videos do it on a cell phone and full HD would be sufficient. I don't need 4K or any other C log or anything like that. So I'm not gonna go into detail about video specs, just talking about uh, if this camera is worth it for sports photography or not. And finally, we get to the spec that I talked about earlier, which is the fact that this camera does not have a mechanical shutter. Yes, it has an electronic shutter, which takes 40 frames per second, but you will get rolling shutter so you will get things that should be vertical you'll get them slanted slightly the balls might not be completely circular might be a little bit oval so if you're okay with that then great but in my opinion for sports photography i think you should use uh, the mechanical shutter even with the electronic first curtain shutter this camera only takes six frames per second and that's quite low for a camera of 2023 uh, I think you should aim for at least 10 with a mechanical shutter and this camera does not have that. The last piece of the puzzle is the price. So this camera in Ireland costs uh, almost 2000 euro. I think with that price you can get the R7 brand new. Yes, it's a crop camera, but for sports photography that can actually be advantage depending on what sport you shoot. So if you shoot a lot of hurling like I do, that's actually an advantage because you need that extra reach. Uh, it also has dual uh, SD cards. It has a bigger battery. It does 15 frames per second with the mechanical shutter. You can save a little bit more and maybe get the R6 uh, Mark II, or you can get a 1DX Mark II used in really good condition, and that camera is still a beast. Yes, it's not mirrorless. It's a DSLR, but it's still one of the best in the market. So 
for the price that you pay for the camera if what you're thinking about doing is sports photography I would not recommend the R8 is it still a good camera of course it is can you still do sports photography with it yes as long as you're aware of the limitations and that you're okay with it but if your budget allows for this one to buy this camera I think you can get better uh, for the money that you're paying and that's it for today's video guys if you enjoyed it click that thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and until next time take it easy stay safe